Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The turbofan engine is an interesting technology. It's a combination of turbine and fan. In these engines, a gas turbine is used to generate the mechanical energy via the combustion of fuel and the mechanical energy generated by the gas turbine is used by a ducted fan to force exit air from the engine. The air then has to pass through turbine and the combustion chamber. chamber. Input to the engines is fan thrust and output is jet thrust which pushes the aircraft forward and lifts it up. In fighter jets, the low bypass turbofan engines are used in which jet thrust is more than the fan thrust. This is achieved with the help of an afterburner section in the engine. An afterburner injects additional fuel into combustion in the jet pipe behind a turbine. Therefore, it is called afterburner. So in order to become completely self-reliant in the indigenous engine development, India should be able to develop engines which can generate thrust of 110 and more kilonewtons. The engine should be able to power the future aircrafts such as AMCA, the upcoming fifth generation fighter jet of India. The AMCA Mark II, which will be integrated with indigenous engine, is expected to enter into production sometime in next decade. 10 years will not be enough for India to develop a 110 kN class of engine due to the lack of expertise on the modern low bypass turbofan engine. Racing against the time, DRDO is now looking for assistance of foreign OEMs such as Rolls-Royce and Safran. After the visit of UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson in April 2022, a very important statement was issued by the British High Commission in India, which said that both leaders noted cooperation in key areas of strategic collaboration, including modern fighter aircraft and jet engine advanced code technology. In response to that, the Indian Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi welcomed the UK announcement of an open general export license in defense to facilitate technology engagement with India and the open opportunity for India to participate in the UK's aviation and naval shipbuilding programs. In October 2022, the Indian High Commission officials and Director General of DRD also held a meeting with Rolls Royce in London. The discussion was again focused on deepening Rolls-Royce existing and planned partnership with India in aviation and defense sector. Two pictures were also shared by Indian High Commission. In the first picture, we could see a presentation titled an Indian engine for AMCA and second picture we could see a turbofan engine. In February 2023, Kishore Jairam who heads the Rolls-Royce India has said that this is about co-creating the intellectual property that goes into a new fighter engine. This will be a greenfield design and will take decade to create. He also added that the firm is keen to partner India for co-development of combat engine technology in the country. The firm believes that such a partnership should result in transfer of both know-how and know-why with all IP of critical combat engine technology resting with India, allowing future customization and improvisations. Kishore Jairam also said that Rolls-Royce is ready to take the next step, which is to design and develop aero engines in partnership with Indian firms. The firm want to develop intellectual property in India. Now, Draksha Mantri Shiradna Singh is in UK for two-day visit to London starting from 8th January to 9th January 2024 accompanied by a high-level Ministry of Defence delegation comprising of senior officials from DRDO, Service Headquarters, Department of Defence and Department of Defence Production. During his visit, Raksha Mantri will hold a bilateral meeting with his UK counterpart, Secretary of State for Defence, Mr. Grant Shapps. They are expected to discuss a wide range of defense, security, and industrial cooperation issues. Sri Rajnath Singh is also expected to call on UK Prime Minister Mr. Rishi Sunak and hold a meeting with Secretary of State of Foreign, Commonwealth, and Development Affairs Mr. David Cameron. He will also interact with the CEOs and industry leads 
of UK defense industry and meet with Indian community there. All eyes are now on the co-development of engine program between India and UK from this visit. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.